Hey guys, it's Daniel from Silent Underground. Today I'm going to make a quick video running through how I would set up a scene-based preset using the head rush. All right, let's set up this multi-scene preset here. Um, as you can see, I have uh, basically chucked in a bunch of random effects. I have an amp and a cab lock. They're not gonna change for the sake of simplicity um, in this demo. So the first thing that we have to do um, is come up here and hit these three dots. You'll bring down this drop menu and you can hit hardware assign. This is going to show what is currently mapped to the buttons on your head rush. Now, how I'm going to set up this preset today is to have the four scenes on the bottom row of the unit. And then I'm going to have the top four switches uh, be able to toggle in and out various effects. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click here where it says toggle on the amp block, which is this uh, first bottom row block. And I'm going to switch it to scene and I'm going to do that for all of them. So this bottom row now is all seen. This top row, I'm going to set to unassigned. As you can see now, the top four buttons will control nothing because nothing is assigned to them. And the bottom four buttons will now control scenes. Now, because we're only using four scenes and the way that the head rush is pre-configured, uh, it's auto naming the bottom buttons, scene five, scene six, scene seven, and scene eight. Now, for our purpose, I want to call them scene one, two, three, and four. So all you do is click where the name is and you can rename it. You can rename it anything you want. Um, for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to call it scene uh, one, two, three, and four. But you could call it, you know, clean, uh, crunch, rhythm, lead, or, you know, effect, or uh, chorus, or flanger, or whatever it is that you want to add in there and have it be named uh, for the corresponding foot switches. So now on the bottom of my uh, head rush here, the bottom four switches say scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, as per what we have just set up. Now what we want to do is set up what the top four buttons are going to do. So I want the first button to be the compressor. Easy. I want the second button to be the overdrive. I want the third button to be the phaser. And I want the fourth button to be the delay. So now, as you can see, I have compressor, overdrive, phaser, delay, and four scenes. To set up each individual scene, just click on whichever scene button it is that you wanna edit. So for this sake, we're going to edit scene one. Now, everything is set to no change by default. If it's set to no change, it means that whatever that effect was set to on the previous scene, it will stay the same when you change in. For this demo, I don't want that. I want them to be able to change to a specific set of effects turned on and off for every scene. So I'm going to double click on all of them to set them to off. This means that all of the effects are now off for that scene. Um, I've left amp and cab on because I want an amp tone. So now if I was to come back to the main screen, scene one, <laughs> is literally just the dry amp and cap. Come back to hardware assign. For scene two, we need to set these all to off again. Again, that's just for the purpose of this demo. So for scene two, what I'm going to do is add the phaser, set that to on, the overdrive, set that to on, and the delay, set to on. For scene three, I'm going to just add the chorus and the compressor and maybe the reverb. And then for scene four, I'm going to just add the, let's say the compressor, 
uh, the overdrive, the reverb, and a delay. And the amps will be set to on. So now you can see when we go back to the main menu and we switch through the scenes, scene one is going to be the dry amp and cab. Scene two is going to turn on the overdrive, the phaser and the delay. Scene three will switch on the comp, the chorus and the reverb. And scene four will turn on the comp, the overdrive, the reverb and the delay. Now the cool thing about this is the way that we've set it up is that all the buttons will still be able to turn on and off the effects even though you've pre-configured each scene. So if we go to scene two, where the overdrive phaser and delay is on, maybe for a, full, a small section, you want the delay to be off. Well, because we've set uh, one of the toggle switches to be to the delay, now we can turn it off. Now, because we've set the uh, switches to no, each effect, sorry, to no change, it means that if I was to go to scene one and then back to scene two, that the delay would now come back on again. Now, if you wanted to adjust any of the scenes, um, maybe you wanted a different effect or anything, it's just a simple matter of going back to hardware assign, clicking on the thing, and you know, maybe for scene two, maybe you don't want the uh, phaser on. Maybe you want to have a flanger on. So we can turn the flanger on. Now, when we come back and we go back to the main menu, scene one is dry. <laughs> Scene two, we'll turn on the flanger and the other. And that is a very quick rundown of how to set up a multi-scene preset using the head rush.